it's all coming true. What is? My fantasy core. I have had this exact dream like a million times. Boy! I'm just delivering a pizza. Leave it on the stool. <laughs> Who was that? The house mom. She catches you, she'll boot me out of the sorority. You see, boys aren't allowed upstairs. Especially, especially not, not in, in the, the bedrooms. bedrooms. How did you know she was going to say that? My dream. It's exactly my dream. I don't want to be in your dreams. <laughs> Look, Julie, it's good to see you again. Yeah, it's great oh, to see you too. Mm, I appreciate you letting us stay here. No, I do. I also appreciate you letting our friends stay here. You're not even going to know we're here. Wow, your roommate's a pig. Uh, that's my side. Howie, what are you doing here? I'm here to take you to the prom. My dad's waiting outside in the Plymouth. <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't you remember a few weeks ago when I asked you if you had a date for the prom and you said no and I said great? Don't you remember? There must have been a misunderstanding. See, Corey and I are back together. So, do we or do we not have a date? No, you do not have a date, Capiche. Back in the Plymouth. <laughs> I'm sorry, Howie. Who am I kidding? Even my mother said it didn't make any sense. Well, you two go. Have fun. See you at the reunion. Howie! How we wait? No, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, please. Sorry, I feel bad. Topanga, this is our prom night. It's his prom night, too. Yes, but I want everything to go exactly perfectly right. If poor Howie is sitting home alone crying his eyes out because of me, I will not feel exactly perfectly right. So, Howie. <laughs> yes, of course. I, I'm sure I can help. Um, excuse us. Here, maybe I should go. No, no, Corey, pl you stay. If you stay, I don't think... Your father and I argue a lot. ...that she'd actually say anything in front of you. All married couples argue a lot. Topanga, haven't you ever wondered why we let you stay here when we moved to Pittsburgh? Because of me. Because you didn't want to take me away from my last year of high school. And Corey. Because you didn't want to rip me away from my friends. Me. Daddy and I thought we could work things out better if we took some time by ourselves. I work what out? There's nobody like you two. You two are so in love. Oh, Topanga, people change. Daddy, why is Mom talking uh, like we, this? We didn't want to dump this on you. We wanted to wait until after the no. wedding. Honey, we, we, look, we tried. We tried you as hard as we... You guys will get through this. Marriage is not something to get through, Topanga. That's not why I got married. Oh, God. No, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, I'm... I, you, Daddy, and I... Okay, well, the, uh, the best goodbyes are fast goodbyes. <laughs> are you freaking nuts? <laughs> Where is your soul? She's gonna, gonna cast me aside like an old pair of shoes. <laughs> we have to say goodbye for an hour. Guys, it's only 70 miles away. No, no, no. John, I was doing it quick because I thought you wanted to do it quick. <laughs> I want a divorce. Shoulder. Is that as bad as I think it was? Not for me. I got 60 cents off Apple Jacks. <laughs> okay, let's see. Our next parent is... Sorry I'm late. Uh, well, actually, I was out in the hall having a smoke. Don't endorse it. Don't deny it. <laughs> Dad. I thought you were going to be out of town. Oh, if anybody asks, I am. <laughs> I teach Chet Hunter. How are you? Uh, okay, everyone, let's welcome Sean's father. Chet Hunter. Sean, what does your dad do for a living? Shh, I want to find out. <laughs> what do I do for a living? Well, you got one man he makes things with his own two hands. You got another one puts food on America's table. And my hat's off to both of them. Me? Well, it's kind of hard to put your finger on what I do. Sean, you're not breathing. Sorry! <laughs> I 
as it does to I. Me? I included you. Oh, dear. Hang on, I do have a toast to make. Attention, everybody. To my brother Eric, who's moving out. And not just for four years, probably forever. And I don't even know him. And now I probably never will. Fifteen years in the same room, Eric. Fifteen years. Goodbye. I, I hope you have a nice life. I really do. I'm sorry, everyone. Too much work left undone, too many students left untaught. Like me? Especially you. In a strange way, you've kept me alive. I'm glad, because there still might be some stuff you're going to teach me that I'm going to need someday. Like what? Like, say I'm walking down the street, and some guy comes up to me and says, what's the atomic weight of geranium? Thanks to you, I'll be able to say, that's a plant, you idiot. <laughs> Dragon alert. Lay low. Maybe I'd better go so I don't get Nurse Jill in trouble. Thank you very much for coming, Mr. Matthews. You've made me feel much better. I feel better, too. Mr. Freeman? Thank you. For what? I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs>